at H2O Tackle. Let's go get our, all of our ice fishing gear. Good morning. All right, good luck. Have fun. Hey boss, you want to come with us and go catch some real fish today? Oh yeah. Trail, what happened there, Shop? Well, here's uh, what's left of the pike that we didn't catch. <laughs> oh man, fishing with tip ups may seem real simple, but there's a lot that goes into setting up the proper tip up. Uh, everybody's got their own opinions on that. I have several ways that I do it, but this is going to be about the most basic possible pike tip up setup that I could possibly show you. Yeah, that's good for me. So, there is a very light gauge wire down to a single treble hook, it's got a little flicker. Uh, blade just for a little bit of action. A bead hole. Whoa. A little bead that just keeps that nice keeps around. that from uh, getting stuck on the knot. Got a line of this here. You got that is there. Uh, Dacron, thirty pound Dacron. Thirty pound Dacron. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna pop open the old bucket. Buckaroo. Oh, you're gonna have to dip your hand in there. Get yourself a nice minnow. Yeah. We forgot the minnow net on the minnow tank at the shop. So. Good news is that's not cold. Oh, it's not as cold as the outside. Yeah. There's what we're after. Gosh, that's a big sucker. Nice big shiner. That's four or five inches. Yep. Hook that, it right there under the dorsal fin. That's what I like to do. It's just one hook. One hook. Yep. This would this minnow here would be a candidate for a quick strike rig if we if we had one on this particular setup. We do on a couple of the others, but this one's pretty far away from camp, so we'll let them chew on it. Now this this type of tip up, you said some cool things. The advantage of that kind versus yeah. the wooden one or the, the two main advantages is one, it doesn't let light down the hole, which could theoretically make a fish think there's something wrong. Um, it could draw fish in too, so that could go both ways. But it also covers the hole, insulates it so it doesn't freeze. It's starting to get windy, starting to get snow right now. Uh, this could sit out here probably all night and never freeze. So nice. uh, it's kind of nice in that regard. That's why it's a thermal tip up. Yeah, frayable thermal. Any idea where I can get some of those? I do. There's this tackle shop at Edwardsburg that oh. has, has them. All right, we'll, put, we'll put links down below for all that. There we go. Once you get that tip up all set, like this, how that works is. Oh, you can see here's something there pulling on. That's a big minnow. But once they pull it, boom, and that sets the flag goes up, then you know, game on. And hey, you got a flag. This is what he's talking about with the real fish. There's a tip of flag up. So I had to run like an idiot. Hopefully fall and hurt myself. Pull it out. Pull it out, set it off to the side, and when you pull it out, pull a bunch of line off the spool. And grab the Straight, line. Pull the line off the spool. Something it. Something yeah. Pull some line off. Pull some line off. Okay, now tip to tip, remember what we talked right. about? Just your tips here. Don't put a bunch of line in. There he is, Caleb. Get him, get him. Go, pull, 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 pull. pull. pull, pull. Yeah. You go, boy. Get him, boy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. There he is. Nice. H2O tackle. And the scops. There Said they're going to show me some real fish today. That is bigger than the bluegill. He's coming up a little screen of snow. Boom. There he is. There he is. Bring her up. Get the transducer out of that for you. Right Bring up that ice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you've got the hot pocket there. Get under it. Put my bait up nice and slow. Right through him. And that's how it's done. Okay, not the jumbos. Uh huh. Explain this tip down thing to me. Okay. Looks homemade. 
Yep, homemade. A man in uh, Hartford, Michigan made these for me. I used to fish the pier with in St. Joe. Uh -huh. So it's just a little tiny treble hook. Okay. A rubber yeah. core sinker about a foot above it. Yeah. Put her in the hole. So right now you're sitting 22 feet, 22 feet deep. So what are you putting about halfway down? Uh, no, it seems like the crappies are actually down closer to the bottom than usual. All right, so this is for crappie, although I've seen bass and pike also get caught doing this. <laughs> then you set it up on this, what looks like a hanger. Yep, coat hanger, some PVC. I've got clothes pins with playing cards that I can clip to this that'll wave it back and forth in the wind if I feel like I need to. Oh, that's a cool idea. Once Darren does all that work, is this a waiting game? That it's gonna be a hard hitter here. That fish is gonna come by and swallow it, which knocks the rod open over like this, and you come over here and set the hook. It's a great setup for crappie, but you see today you can catch pike and bass doing the same thing. What do we got here? Not a crappie. Not a crappie, they say. Crappie rod looking for a crappie. Nope. Oh, it's sinker. Cody, get down there, you're yeah. ready. Yeah, yeah, get that son of a gun. That's not a crappie. <laughs> so the setup that Darren and the H2O tackle team showing me is it's man, you got a whole plethora of things. You got the tip ups all around us. Yeah, a couple of these, and you got all the rest of us uh, bobbing for uh, bluegill and, and crappie. Anything will bite. Actually, see, see that spinning? That tells you the fish not only has it, but he's running with it, swimming with it. Oh yeah, see that thing going, see that thing going? Yank it, hit that sucker. Tip the tip, if you want to try and let him have it, okay? He's fighting way too easy. Yeah. He's gonna take a run at the hole for sure. If he wants to go, let him go. Ooh, I'll be a master. Took quite a bit of yeah, yeah. Well, this was, well, this is it. the one that we just came over. Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Once you get his nose in, rip him off. Back. Here's the bite. Yeah, you guys have a large mouth. Gross. Yeah, Gross. these are more exciting than bluegill. Oh, we're going. Beautiful. Darren. That's what I'm talking about. One flag there, one flag over there. I'm going to go over here because there's snow and I might not trip and fall. Get him. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You might have a line if you Ooh, want to. There you okay. go. Good one. Got some muscle behind it. Pull the line out there. We might have a real pike this time. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Look at that guy. Where's it where's stuck at? Ah, oh, he's too big. That's why he's stuck. Oh, oh, good job, buddy. Yeah. Oh, man. See Andy, we told you we'd show you how to catch them. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> that's not a bad size fish. You we got another flag. Yeah. There you go. Quality there. She got here. Tip down. Tip down. You can't afford anymore to drag on that, so you're just gonna have to. Yeah. Lift up just a little bit when you're not laying real down. Bigger. Oh my gosh. Yeah! That is a perfect rod for you, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He seems like more is. dead weight now. He probably got past halfway. Now he's losing air. Get a little tired. Here he comes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh let him go, let him go, let him go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the whole whole crew <laughs> moving in now. Oh, Shop my. saying, get out of my oh, way. Okay, my boy is going to bring that thing in. He took out probably another 10 feet of line. That's a big one. Woohoo! That's, That's a very wide. Like, yeah. Where did he bite this crop? <laughs> no, we might want to move a size 12 here. red treble hook. <laughs> Maybe a size 14. Someday you'll be thanking Andy Bush for catching your. Catching your catch on film forever, sir. Wow. This will be a cool one to have a video of. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Reeling. Drill a second hole fit that sucker through here. Ah, 
out. He oh, saw you and said, nope. He said, sorry. You ugly. I don't come here. Get his nose in the hole. Yeah. Maybe this time. Oh, my Maybe God. I can't get him turned. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, my that? God. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 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 Oh, all right, buddy. It's just like... <laughs> It's like a blood trail. Yeah. Yeah. What happened there, Shop? Well, here's huh? what's left of the pike that we didn't catch. <laughs> oh, man. Dripping blood. And they say fishing's not a count contact sport. Ha! Got another giant here? It's a 44 incher. What do you call this little contraption? Tip down. Tip down. Ooh, I call it. I call that drag. That's good drag. That's good sound. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Dicky. Uh, not a keeper. Since you watch all my videos, this shouldn't be any surprise that we're catching combination fish. Because you see all my late fall and early winter bass fishing videos. Where do I always say to go fishing at? The same place that are popular with ice fishermen. Because that's where the bluegill are, that's where the crappie are, that's where the bait are, and of course that's where the predators are. So if you are, if, if you're not, say you're not an ice fisherman, but you want to fish early spring, late fall, not sure where to go to catch the bass, pay attention to where you see ice fishermen. Because that's the same places that you're going to find your predators in the early spring and late fall. I'm in here. I don't know if I'm getting them all filling up, but I know I'm getting in your way. <laughs> but nothing else. I'll give you an extra challenge. I think it's a bass. You think it's a bass? Still, a little bit. Oh, oh, if it wants to go, let it go. Well, Darren did promise me some big fish day, and that's exactly what we saw. Big fish. Different ways of catching them. I mean, really, a couple different ways of catching fish. The way we were set up had three different things going on here. Everything we did, every tackle we used, links to all that is in the description. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.